Hello and welcome to Transfermarkt TV. I'm Manu Fed, he's Stefan Bienkowski and Stefan, today's topic is Rafael Leao, the Portuguese winger playing for Milan. Um, obviously, we're recording this on the eve of a massive Champions League semi-final. Um, but this player, it appears to be, is off the market, has been linked, of course, heavily with PSG, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, every Premier League club uh, under the sun as well. Um, but for now, looks like he's off the market, Stefan. Yeah, so reports in England and Italy are both stating now that Leal has signed a new five-year contract. I suspect people who are watching this now already know that. Um, so yeah, the player undoubtedly kind of committing his future to the club. And it's probably quite a surprise to most European football fans, perhaps not to AC Milan fans, because... Uh, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, his lawyer and agent actually came out in February and basically said along the lines of, well, you know, Leal loves the club, he wants to stick around, we're working hard to sign a new contract. Of course, you know, players and agents say that all the time before they then hop, skip and jump to the next club. But uh, in this case, it seems like Leal really has kind of put his signature where his mouth is, if you if you will. Um, and there's every reason to, to understand why. You know, if you kind of look at his stats... Uh, first at Sporting, I know he kind of started as a youth player, didn't really play a lot, but the, just the progress he's moved, he's made since going from Lille to then AC Milan uh, to become this kind of really world class forward, uh, it really speaks to not only his development as a player, but also Milan's development as a club in recent seasons. You know, uh, when he arrived, they were still kind of on this trying to return to form, mid table or not even mid table, maybe like a top side, Serie A side, and. Since he's been there and since he's been kind of leading the line, they've obviously won the Serie A title. They're now in the semi-finals of the Champions League, potentially getting to the final. Who knows what happens? They could even maybe win the Champions League. And it's easy to maybe look at all these things and say, well, why would he want to leave? You know, because he's getting game time at Milan. He's picking up great stats week in, week out. Uh, he's competing for titles in Italy. He's, 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 get, he's going far in the Champions League like any top player would want. Uh, and then if you compare it to the fact that he's now a starter for Portugal as well, it would suggest that there's nothing really pulling or tugging at him to need to make the move right now. Uh, of course, he's still a very young player. and doesn't. There's nothing that means he has to make the move now uh, to kind of feel like he has to reach a new level. He's already at the top level and, and Milan seems to be able to offer him everything he wants right now. Yeah, 13 goals and 13 assists and 44 games um, this season uh, across all competitions. You kind of get the sense here, I think, a little bit too, that, you know, being at a club like Milan that is, you know, on the path back to the greatness that it once was, right? A, a regular in the, the later stages of the Champions League, uh, a recent Serie A winner. Um, you know, you feel like there's a real resurgence going on there. And, and with that in mind, if you are a player at a club like that, you kind of you know, need to look around and see, okay, where can I really go from here? What is really a step up? Especially when you consider also that, you know, living in a place like uh, Milan and Italy in particular is pretty nice, right? So uh, when you look around, you say, okay, well, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, PSG, those are maybe the cities and locations and statues of clubs that I would be interested in. Um, the problem is, and then we know, you know, these are the clubs that have been looking and have been linked to uh, Leal. But you look at these clubs and they all have a glut of wingers. Uh, Bayern Munich is one example, right? And they are probably looking to offload before they're adding and they're probably more interested in adding a center forward. You can say the same similar thing about PSG, Real Madrid as well. They have a lot of attacking players, period. They have you recently signed a young Brazilian attacker, Enric, who's coming in in a few years. So you, you kind of look at all these options and you, you look around and say, well, there's the Premier League, but, you know, that is always comes with a huge risk and it's not Milan. <laughs> so, you know, you kind of look at all of these options and it, it kind of feels like this makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Leal kind of plays one of those positions that either the top clubs already have a top player in that position or have made it abundantly clear that they want to sign a top player in that position. And if Leal hasn't really been getting any hints or suggestions from these top clubs that he could be that man, then you understand why he's probably looking at the likes of Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, uh, I think PSG perhaps most notable, and thinking, well, if I just kind of bide my time for a season or two, I could probably slot into a position when some of these older players have moved on. I do kind of feel like PSG is perhaps the most likely one. Whether he wants to return to Ligue 1, I guess, is up for debate, but... 
it's not hard to foresee PSG probably having to go on a real spending spree once they move on from the Lino Messi's and Neymar's of this world. Uh, because you can even look at the kind of likely contenders in the Premier League. Chelsea have more forwards than sense at the moment. Manchester City are well stocked there. Liverpool, who have been heavily linked with them, obviously picked up Luis Diaz recently. They got Diego Yota before that. Darwin Nunes also kind of plays like a wide player when he starts. So they're pretty well stocked. Arsenal are pretty well stocked on those in those wide positions, as are Man United. So, you know, as I said, AC Milan suits Leal, Leal suits AC Milan, but I think more than anything else, the transfer window just hasn't really offered a huge amount of opportunities for him right now. And I guess, you know, it's better to just kind of stick with something you know and something that's working for you rather than take a risk in the transfer window. Yeah, absolutely. And as we pointed out in yesterday's Christian Pulisic link video, Serie A is becoming sexy again. So, you know, <laughs> there might be a good time to stick around. It's a very competitive league. Um, we have two teams in the semi-final of the of the Champions League, right? You don't know who wins the title every year. It's been two different winners now. Um, you know, now that Juventus' dominance is over, so it is an enticing competition, and it's a it's a it's a really beautiful country to live in. So, you know, why leave something that is on the upswing? Uh, is I guess what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that is the latest Rafael Leao and what's happening there. Um, we have lots more content on the site, of course. Um, also check out all features. We have a rising star section. We have all the latest transfer rumors and transfer news. So head to Transfermarkt now. We'll be back soon with new content. Until then, cheers and bye-bye.